Toji Fushiguro. This guy has completely taken the internet by storm as a mysterious mercenary badass that somehow has secret relations with the Zenin clan, but also has the same name as Megumi Fushiguro. Most have simply been asking, who the heck is this guy? So in today's video, I'll be giving you 25 facts about Toji Fushiguro you probably didn't know about to elevate your JJK knowledge. If you enjoy this style of content and want to see more of it, then drop a like on the video and subscribe on our march to 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2023. Now, let's do this. Also keep in mind, most of these facts come from the Jujutsu Kaisen official fan booklet, straight from the author's interviews and thus, may contain some minor spoilers. Starting light, I thought it would be nice to showcase some of Toji's personality, like his favorite hobby, which is gambling. We see this in episode two when he is formally introduced along with Shiyu Kong as he is gambling on a race to get 30 million yen to, in his words, wear down the Gojo family's boy. This really fits his personality as he seems to live this hedonistic lifestyle combined with this devil may care attitude. Which leads us into some of his favorite food, which is just meat and offal. Now, I'm sure we all know what meat is, of course, after all, it's it's back on the menu. But offal is basically a variety of meats from the edible organs of butchered animals. And as you can see with the whole liver and intestines thing going on here, this doesn't look too appetizing for some of us. So once again, I think this showcases Toji's harder personality here. As for his least favorite food, he doesn't like alcohol. Which, you know, I didn't expect that. But in a really weird way, this makes Toji more scary. Knowing this guy is stone cold sober while making the decisions he does with a belly full of intestines and butchered animals, and a, a love to play his odds like some weird Yumiko Jabami inspired gambling, uh, yeah, I don't know, it just scares me a little bit, you guys. As for things which stress Toji out, it's the Zenin family. Because of course it would. After all, he left the Zenin clan to join the Fushiguros. And honestly, outside of Maki and Mai, the Zenin clan aren't exactly full of warm bodies. So I get it. Also, the scar on Toji's face? Well, about that. He got it when he was a child when the Zenin clan tried to discipline him by throwing him into a pit of curses. And as we've seen with Fate Zero with Sakura Mato, you never throw kids into pits. Usually, that comes back in one way or another to bite them in the Gilgamesh, though I understand why he hates the Zenin clan now. Like, a lot. Though, that could change if Toji would meet Maki Amai, which he never has. I can imagine it now. Toji sees Maki's stone cold face and ruthless attitude, and Mai's jealousy clearly seeping through into every conversation. Ah, <sighs> yeah. What a great pair of sisters. I have no doubts Toji will change his mind now. As well, did you know that Toji has no rank? Well, this is because Jujutsu aren't ranked when people carry a heavenly restriction. Meaning, Toji was born with one and thus was not required to give a rank as he is technically in a category of his own. Once again, makes him really scary. As for how Toji got his cursed tools, he obtained them after leaving the Zenin clan through jobs he would do for entities which operate within the shadows. Though, because of no money, he would just use women until he got a big paycheck spend it all, and then once again go to another woman until he can repeat the cycle. I mean, this guy for sure is a sleazebag. Did you know that Toji trained his inventory curse by treating it like a pet? Turns out it worked, because they indeed do have a friendly relationship between the two. At some point, Toji, thanks to Megumi's mother, tried to help him smooth things over with the Zenin clan, but when she died, it returned to the bitter relations that he now has with the Zenins. Seems that Megumi's mom really tried her best until the very end. As for his fighting style, while wildly varied, he can even take on a Jujutsu Sorcerer with just his fists. He doesn't need a curse tool. Are you scared of him yet? Are you scared yet, Mr. Krabs? Toji also can't exercise any cursed spirit. Because of this, the Zenin clan, being very strict, ostracized Toji for this very reason. However, this doesn't affect his demeanor that much, as Toji is known to be one of the most calculated people in JJK, never losing sight of his goals and never losing his temper. 
You simply cannot make Toji mad, as he has full control over his range of emotions. In other words, he's like a goddamn machine. Did you know that Toji Fushiguro was born on the final day of the year, December 31st? Though we still don't know what year he was born to this day, but it's pretty interesting that he was born on the last day of that year. His name also means something very apropos for his character. The kanji in Toji means tremendous and or gifted, and as well, second. Also according to the JJK fanbook, it's revealed how Toji was related to Naobito, Maki, and Mai. Turns out that Toji is the son of Naobito's elder brother, as Maki and Mai are the daughters of the younger brother of Naobito. It also turns out that Toji is an only child, which is sort of sad for some reason. Toji is also narcissistic. The reason for this is that being called the sorcerer killer, he knows he's much stronger than basically 99.9% .9 of the people living. So he basically just acts like it. Toji is also very greedy, as evident by how he uses women and gambles all the time. Morals never get in the way with him, and thus he does whatever he needs to do, if only the price is right. Though, what's more interesting is that Toji is basically invisible to detection from sorcerers, as he has no cursed energy within his body, making him fly under the radar of pretty much everyone. He is also a genius of the battlefield, as because of his cool and calculated nature, he can outthink most people on the battlefield as he has no real emotions during his fights. This makes him extremely dangerous, no matter the situation. He also can use pretty much just about any weapon you can think of. This is why I compare him to Kiritsugu Imiya from Fate Zero. If there is a weapon, Toji will use it and use it effectively. This makes sense as, without a cursed technique, he needs to be able to fight with whatever he can against the Jujutsu Sorcerers who have a major advantage. We mentioned earlier that he hates alcohol. Well, fun fact, this stems from him not being able to get drunk. This is due to his natural abilities, causing his metabolism to go into overtime. Toji as well is able to hide his cursed spirit that he befriended inside his body so that it won't cause him to be detected. Yeah, that's right, his cursed spirit literally lives inside of him. But that's it, let me know your favorite Toji fact down in the comments below and comment which character you want me to do a video on next. Become a patron to gain access to my One Piece arc review series, where I read One Piece for the first time and give my review of each arc. Thanks for watching, Bye bye